Hi, this is Dr. Derek Mahoney. I'm a specialist orthodontist um, in Sydney uh, and in Melbourne. I thought I'd put this quick video together to explain to a parent what class three jaw is. So class three means that the lower jaw is bigger than the upper jaw. But what I have to figure out as an orthodontist with the benefit of good records is whether it's the upper jaw that's fault and it's too far back, or is it the lower jaw that's grown too much? So these are the different treatment offerings, offerings for patients. If it's postural, postural means the patient is actually hitting and sliding their jaw forward. Then we need to break that posture because if they continue to have that cross bite, then the lower jaw will stimulate and grow. So for those children at a very early age, we place what's called planus buildups. And planus buildups go on the baby teeth. It helps the child not to hit and push the jaw forward. And we supplement those buildups with the use of a class three myobrace. Age group for that could be anywhere from sort of uh, four to six. Then we have the patient whose problem is the upper jaw and we wanna bring the upper jaw forward. Those patients also have very narrow upper jaw with no room for their teeth. So what that would look like would be a young patient with the canine stuck and we broaden the jaw. How do we broaden the jaw? We use this device, which is called a bonded hyrax or upper expander. So this is fitted in the mouth and when the patient comes home at night, they wear elastics to this appliance and they wear this at nighttime. This is called a face mask. It's not uncomfortable. The only people who see you wearing it are for family. Um, and when this is placed, the upper jaw is pulled downward and forward. So again, if I have this underbite and it's not my lower jaw, I can get the upper jaw in a good position. So no matter what we do in class three, the million dollar question is, is there a genetic component that the lower jaw will continue to grow? And again, early treatment for the child in a, with baby teeth, mixed dentition treatment, meaning some baby teeth, some adult teeth. When we have almost all our adult teeth, but we still have this jaw problem, uh, we use what's called bollards. Bollards, as the name suggests, are anchor points that fit on the lower jaw, and in the upper jaw, they're placed by a maxillofacial surgeon. And then the child wears elastics from the lower bollards to the upper bollards. And those elastics have this sort of effect. Upper jaw comes forward, lower jaw comes back. And the reason we do these three treatments is to minimize the most aggressive treatment, which is jaw surgery. So if you are an adult and you want to avoid jaw surgery, there are newer techniques that we can now employ, such as MSC. MSC means that expander is placed into the palate rather than on the teeth. And again, for the right patient with the right suture, we can combine that MSC with a face mask, even for the non-growing individual. In severe cases that come to me at the non-ideal age, 30 years and older, then I'm using conventional orthognathic surgery uh, with my maxillofacial surgeon. I'm very lucky to work in Sydney and in Melbourne with some excellent maxillofacial surgeons, and they will also consult you or your child if you have this jaw condition to advise what would be the appropriate treatment and when would be the appropriate time to start. If you'd like to learn more about any of these techniques, or if you have a child who has this sort of jaw, please come in for a consultation. If you want to see how these techniques work, I have a number of lectures which I put together for dentists and orthodontists to learn, and they're available on the website, which will be here, um, eodoteachable.com. But if you'd like to make an appointment, please visit the website, fullfaceorthodontics.com. This is Derek Mahoney signing off with a quick explanation of what is class three jaws and why we fix them. Thank you.